Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Armour Hobby's latest release. This is the 172nd P51BC Mustang. Now, a little bit of background. Uh, as you know, I'm quite a fanboy of Armour Hobby stuff and I was really, really looking forward to getting my hands on this particular kit to see if it stacks up as their beautiful Hurricane did in the level of detail. Anyway, here we go. So, as you can see, beautiful box art on the front. We've got a little bit of information on the side and then on the back here we've actually got all the markings and this is another thing that's a good seller for this particular kit is the actual options that you get down in here so obviously we've got some of the RAF markings we've got the US markings as you can see down in here but really good options uh, if any of the ones you want to do so this is the actual expert set so you get a couple of nice bits in here so down in here you're greeted by the one bag so the expert set comes with uh, the actual mask set for it as well. All right. So down in here, we can get into the bag. We've got the clear parts, separate bag, very nicely. There's the actual mask set, and we get a little bit of photo etch as well, sorry. So we've got ones there for the radiators and some of the harnesses, which is another nice touch. We've got obviously our instruction booklet, and then down in here, we're greeted just by two sprues. So as always, we will start with the, the booklet for it. So in here as well, we've got the decals. So you can see, it looks a little bit busy in here, but uh, bear with it because again, there's lots of call outs for all the, the interesting bits and pieces down in here. So we say you've got the actual main cockpit going together, then you've got all details down in here uh, about all the various parts that are going down in here, all right? So again, we've got some of the decals which are gonna be making up for all of these little items on here. So you've got plenty of detail being brought in by the use of decals, all right? Even on a 70 second scale one. Cockpit detail going down in there as you can see. And again, we've got more of these decals going down right the way down for the actual side walls as well adding loads of detail as you can see all right and then obviously making your way through the main build itself adding lots of detail and there is tons of it even in a 70 second scale kit call outs for the colors as well for the different areas in this one right the way through and then the same with the side walls being fitted we've got the instrument panel and the actual uh, combing over the top being fitted down into there tail wheel being fitted and then you can bring the two halves together then obviously we're over to the main wheel well section of getting those sort of detailed up and put in as well so you've got all of those and then obviously the wings can go together and we've got the flaps as well being fitted and then down in here you've actually got the actuators which go through the top of the actual wing spar and come out the bottom for the actual gear doors so you can see this is how it goes in again beautiful detail on such a small kit then over on the other side we've got the wheels going together so it could be fitted on there we've got the tail planes being fitted and the rudder main wing section obviously comes up from underneath as you might expect gear doors and gear being fitted down to this one and then obviously we've got the uh the cooler in the open or closed position if you want to have those both fitted on there as well then obviously we've got the various parts, different types of grills being fitted in the front and sides for the exhaust, depending on which version you're doing. And then we've got the intake being fitted down in there on the front. Again, aerials choices uh, and things like that as well, being depending on which versions you're doing as well on there. And then again, we've got the exhaust and the spinner being fitted on the front with the props. Canopy, again, open or closed, depending on which one you want. And again, that showing down in here, different parts being fitted onto this one if you're using different canopies, so forth and so on. So you can see lots of good information down in here, as you might expect. Different types of fuel tanks as well. So we've got the teardrop one or the paper one being fitted down in there as well. And then again, you could have bombs as well as fuel tanks if you want to fit it. Stencil data being fitted onto the outside, pretty much as you expect. And then obviously your differences in your markings you want to do. So again, lots of different options down in here. And again, it looks like we've got a scan one as well. So you can take you over to the website. Perhaps there's a few more details on there different version you can see some really nice colorful ones we've got the RAF ones as well as you can see some very very nice ones down in there and then obviously we've got this one as well uh, as I say so some nice options right the way through depending on which one you want to do so again that looks to be really very nice indeed so if we just flip over to the close-up for these bits we've got start off with the decals as you can see beautifully printed 
nice good solid color and again all of that stencil data there's tons of it but that's going to add beautiful detail down in the cockpit and things like that and again we've got decal harnesses as well uh, depending on which ones you want to do or you have got them obviously as photo etch we've got another little decal down in here which i assume is some of the little correction ones so again very nicely done beautifully printed as always we do get as i said the mar set so it's a die cut mar set for the wheels and for the canopy and the bits you can just about see it down in there and also we do get as you say we've got the radiator grill uh, and various parts down in there for the photo etch for the harnesses as well depending on which version you want to do as we have it here we might as well go straight into the clear parts so again beautifully done crystal clear can't see any problems again with the different types of canopy so again really very very nice indeed and then over to the plastic so again you can see really very very nice again it's one of those ones we will just dive straight into the close-up to be able to see it properly but you can probably see really nice now don't forget you don't get riveting on these wings or anything else like that it's not supposed to it was puttied uh, on this actual aircraft but everywhere has got the actual riveting and the various bits and pieces the fuselage halves are gorgeous i love the plastic that they use it's got that nice matte almost cad look to it and then again hopefully you can see tiny tiny riveting down in here i think we have to move the camera even closer to be able to catch it doesn't show up in the lights but it's all here so all that detail you've seen in 130 second scale kits over the years is down in 170 second now this is what i'm saying it's madness that armor hobbies can produce the quality and the sharpness and the detail in such small areas and again doesn't disappoint on the inside again interesting use of the sort of daisy uh, one for this i don't think these will foul i think these are designed on purpose to actually add more strength down into the wings and things like that because if you notice these on here they're shallow as it would be and taller to the inside so i don't think they foul or do anything i think they're just supposed to nudge up to each other but again what that enables you to do is to get them out of the mold with all this detail intact so there's no ejector pins or anything where anything would see and that's the beauty with this kit check out the detail in the wheel wells down in here as well absolutely beautiful so again it's one of those kits where it, you're just blown away how much detail they can do and the sharpness and the panel lines look to all be perfectly in scale you can see down in here again how nice it is so we've got weighted wheels as well which is another really nice touch i've got no sink marks i've got no flash i've got nothing to moan about at all so again beautifully beautifully done you know it's, it's one of these things where i you know like to do the good and bad i just can't find any bad on these kits they are absolutely amazing there you have it. it i know it's short and sweet as a review but there's no nasty things to say about it it is literally that good i am not disappointed uh this is one of those things where i'll be staring at this kit for a long time until i get around to actually building it and i will do as well because it is that nice i'm blown away i just can't wait for armor hobbies to do the actual 48 scale hurricane and things like that because if it's like these kits it's amazing but it's really nice to see that that level of detail that i was blown away by doing the actual hurricane and the build quality and the fit and all the rest of it it was just a fantastic build from start to finish is carrying on you know it's not seeing any signs of any dropping away or anything else like that but the level of detail that we're now seeing here in 70 second scale you know we haven't got any ejector pins anywhere at all there's no sink marks there's no flash it is absolutely perfect but the panel lining is just so fine and so crisp the riveting detail under here for that sort of area underneath behind the actual main gear wells on the lower wing it's amazing you can barely see it it is that fine to keep it in scale and stuff like that but generally just the attention to detail by giving you decals to go right the way through 
all the cockpit to put in all the placards and all that detail into them as well it's absolutely fantastic the instructions look a little bit complicated but they're not it's just because there's so much detail down in these instructions telling you where to put all the parts and how to use them and things like that as well so generally really really nice it has to be absolutely a must buy for anybody who's into 70 second scale stuff and also if you're doing sort of into mustangs and stuff like that you're going to be blown away by this actual kit so there we go that's armor hobby's latest release the 172nd p51bc mustang